So I have Z's rib cage out on the table here. It's a beautiful form, and I just want to share it with you. We reflected it away from the sp spinal column, all through the rib heads here, uh, the neck and the head. And, uh, and then we took away two things here. The first ribs joint with the manubrium, and the clavicles joint with the manubrium. So we don't have all the ribs here. I've actually left the floating ribs behind, 12, 11, and 10 in Z. So this is actually uh, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 ribs. So we don't have them all, but it gives you the idea. And I'm just fascinated by, by the shape and structure of the, of the rib cage, or rib basket as the Germans call it. And we have this interesting section here, which is all cartilage. So it's not bone all the way. We have this kind of flexible, dynamic cartilage here that um, permits, uh, along with the musculature and the, and the joints of the ribs, so much beautiful movement with every breath we take 20,000 times a day. And so we basically have joints between the, between the, uh, the cartilage and the rib and the cartilage and the sternum here. So we call this our costal margin. Some of it's missing, of course, but I think I'm going to try and stand this up and show you this way, what to me is one of the most beautiful visions in the human body, which is the, the echo of the heart. And we even see the heart shape here. Do you see that <laughs> in the ribs? But the echo of the heart, like a pebble dropped in water and expanding. And that sound, um, that sound from within the chest, right? Is, is kind of takes form in the shape of the rib cage, reiterating further and further out. And if we look at the, at the ribs themselves, we see, of course, there's bone, space, bone, space, bone, space. So the heart within the, within the rib cage, with its sonic and electromagnetic emanations, is both kind of bouncing into the rib bone and echoing back to itself and getting constant feedback every heartbeat, but also sending emanations out beyond the body, right? So that we can measure the, the human heart's electromagnetic field as much as 12 feet past the body. We could measure it 1,000 feet if we had instruments sufficient to, to read it, but we don't. It's not a failure of the heart to speak beyond 12 feet. It's a failure of our instrumentation to be able to read its whispers at that distance. So heart waves are filling our environment whenever people are. And I think that's a beautiful thing. So heart waves are moving in huh, from others. Heart waves are moving out from ourselves. And the heart is also listening to itself as its emanations echo and reverberate internally. And I feel that the, this beautiful shape is a demonstration of of, of all of that, really. And uh, of course, <laughs> we're missing everything else now, so it's a, it's a, uh, it's a very abstract vision of the rib cage, uh, and yet uh, beautiful still. And we can see when we hold the ribs, uh, where maybe, maybe where the idea of the heart, uh, the, the iconic uh, heart image comes from, right? We bring our ribs together and we see See the home of the heart outlined by the ribs. How wonderful. Thanks, Z. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to study more with me, go to gilheadley.com. There's a ton of stuff there. Enjoy.